Hey everyone, what's up? I'm Heather Storm with My Combat Channel. We are here at the Team Oyama Gym in Irvine, California, here to catch up with Carla Esparza. The 5-1 powerhouse is set to fight at the Invicta Fighting Championship on January 5th against Claudia Gildalha. Let's go talk to her, see her training regimen, and hear her thoughts on the upcoming fight. So Carla, you have a big fight coming up on January 5th against Claudia Gadella. Tell us a little bit more about what you're thinking about that. Um, I'm really excited about the fight. It's a really big opportunity. Um, fighting for Invicta, you know, I think that's the top of the line for women right now. So I'm just really excited for the title. It's the first one they're doing at 115, the first uh, straw weight title. So hopefully I'm going to bring the belt back home and it along with all of these. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Now, does it get in your head a little bit that she's undefeated at this point? Does that mess with you? To me, it's just a better opportunity. You know, I can beat someone with an undefeated record, and that just says more about me. And I think I can do it, and, I, and you know, my coaches have all the faith in me, so I feel good about it. I saw you training out there, and I definitely think that you can do it. That looked really intense. Now, tell us what your typical training regimen is like when you're preparing for a fight like this. Well, I typically train like two to three times a day at least. I'll do my conditioning, whether it be running or training at uh, my conditioning place, innovative results, and we'll do strength and conditioning, ropes, sleds, all that. And then at night, I'll usually do you know two of the mixed martial arts, like um, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and Muay Thai or wrestling or just a combination of everything, MMA. It's, um, Definitely a lot of hours that I put in when I'm getting ready for a fight, but I always make sure to take a day or two off to get my rest as well. So how many hours a day when you're getting ready for a fight are you training? Typically say three to five hours. That's a lot. <laughs> now, do you have any special diet requirements? I mean, that's a lot of energy you're expending throughout the day when you're training. Do you get on a certain program with your diet as well? Um, actually, yeah. I, I always try and keep the calories going. It's for me, it's not about like cutting out uh, your calories because you need that for energy. I think it's just about cleaning up your diet and eating healthy and putting fuel in your body. Absolutely. So, do you get? Do you find yourself getting hungry, or do you have to not eat at all? Like, okay, one fifteen. You know, that's that's little. You're tiny. <laughs> do you have to cut weight to get to one fifteen, or is that your natural weight? Well, um, typically, a lot of girls cut. 10 to 20 pounds. I usually don't cut too much. When I'm eating clean and working out a lot, I typically only cut five to eight pounds. So for me, it's not a lot. I eat all the way up until the day of weigh-ins and I always feel good. I don't believe, after cutting weight for so many years, I don't think that depriving your body and starving yourself is the way to go. In addition to uh, training all the time, you have a wrestling background. Tell us a little bit about what it was like you know, being a wrestler in high school. You were wrestling with the boys, right? Is that how it worked? Yeah, it was definitely pretty tough starting out. I mean, it was all boys. They, you know, kick my butt every day. They put bets on, you know, when I was going to quit. So uh, I kept coming back. I kept working hard. Um, I started my junior year, so I actually had to push myself really hard to catch up with everybody, which on top of being a girl was, you know, pretty tough. But I think it made me stronger and then I went on to wrestle on the women's team in college and you know I wouldn't give that experience up for anything it was an awesome experience. So what made you um, in high school say you know what I didn't decide I'm gonna go wrestle with the boys like what was that defining moment that that made you do that? Actually it was some football players saw me lifting weight in the the weight room and they were like hey you're really strong for your weight you, you should try wrestling and it was just like, hey, all right, I'll try it out. You know, I'm always pretty open-minded. So went in there, did pretty well, and, you know, just kept coming back. So your nickname is the Cookie Monster. I know that probably people ask you all the time. So were you hoarding cookies before? What's going on here with Cookie Monster? I was such the hoarder in college. Oh, my God. The Girl Scout cookie time comes around. Forget about it. Uh, you know, I was always eating cookies in the cafeteria, sneaking them in my bag. So, you know, I kind of got that name in high school or in college, I mean, and then kind of forgot about it, came back to Team Oyama, and then my coach was like, man, you eat a lot of cookies. You're like the cookie monster. So it just kind of caught on, and I was like, it's probably meant to be. Tell me what's your favorite Girl Scout cookie? Samoas. I love them, my favorite. 
Can you eat a whole box of them? Oh, I can eat like three whole boxes, no problem. Oh, okay, you're definitely the cookie monster for that. Those things are delicious. Oh. So with your wrestling background, you've now become more of a well-rounded fighter, gone into training jiu-jitsu, um, and now you're going to go up against somebody who's jiu-jitsu. Does, I mean, do you do any training modifications in order to really um, step up your game in that area? Um, I typically, what I've always been preparing for is, you know, just to stay tight and keep a good defense, play smart, you know, be patient. And I think, you know, uh, Claudia, my opponent, is pretty much exactly what I've been training for. You know, so I think it was just pretty much, this camp has been just touching up everything that I've already been working on for years. So, women's MMA. You know, I mean, women have been out there fighting. Clearly, you've been, you know, wrestling in high school and whatnot. But it's it's growing more and more. Tell me what you've seen as far as the evolution of women's MMA. I actually feel really lucky that I came in at such a good time. I mean, you know, a few years ago, girls that have been fighting for six, seven years really didn't get the attention that we're getting now. I mean, it's just been blowing up the last few years. Not only women's, but men. So it's kind of crossed over, you know. It's just become an evolution in the United States and in the world. I mean, you know, it's so great and the women have been, you know, coming along so far. Now we're in the UFC, now we have our own all-female promotion that's on such a high level. I mean, you know, I think it's only gonna keep going up from here. Tell me how it feels to be a part of Invicta, the all-women's promotion. You've been with them since May, correct? So how does that feel? It feels so good, I mean, this is what you know, I, as a woman in the sport and who, who's always played sports, you know, this is something that I think, you know, is a big step for women in general. I mean, and to be a part of it is amazing. I know a lot of women, you know, are knocking on their doors to be in Invicta, and I just feel lucky that I'm at the level where I, you know, can be in there and not only that, be fighting for the belt. That's very exciting time. It's very exciting. And I think I agree with you. The growing popularity with the men's sports has really helped the women. Um, now, you said that you also have a, a degree in sports management. So tell me a little bit about your, you know, it sounds like your interest has always been in sports. And do you see yourself doing something beyond fighting someday with that degree? Uh, I mean, I love sports in general. I love being around athletes. I think it's just a great environment, you know, being around health and fitness. So. For me, I'd love to stay um, in the sports industry, whether it be you know football, fitness, or hopefully MMA down the line, you know, as a career past fighting. So you know, I love it, and I hope to continue to stay in it. See yourself coaching women someday? <laughs> oh, I would love to coach a women's team. I mean, that you know, like I said, it keeps growing bigger and bigger. Um, fight organization, you know, and then we're gonna start having all these all women teams. I mean. That's where I see women's MMA going. You know, um, is there anyone in particular that you really would like to fight and get out there and fight that you, you know, you're like, oh, you know what, I would like to take this person, male or female? I, I mean, I guess it's like a broken record, me talking about wanting a rematch with Jessica Aguilar, but she's number one in the world right now. She was number one when she beat me in a split decision in her hometown, and you know, I, I want to take that fight back to her and I want to do it in neutral territory or in my house and we'll see what, how it comes out. My Twitter is Carla Esparza one That's the number one. Number one. <laughs> because she's number one. One. All right. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it.